video therapy just leveled up. Syntex therapy is a brand new option for patients with any stage of cancer, even those with metastatic disease. For the first time ever, cancer itself actively guides treatment in real time. Syntex therapy empowers radio tracers to reach beyond locating and visualizing cancer to now immediately trigger its destruction. This breakthrough automates targeting and motion management, two of the longest standing barriers preventing definitive radiotherapy for metastatic disease. So basically, cancer just met its match. Okay, welcome. We are streaming live right here from Reflections Campus in Hayward, California in our beautiful manufacturing facility. Welcome everybody. Is it's just uh, it's just great to be here with you live today. I'm Todd Powell, President and CEO of Reflection, and I'm Sam Mazin, one of the co-founders and CTO of Reflection. And uh, we just again couldn't be happier to have you join us here today for some announcements and to uh, to celebrate the beginning of the next phase of this company's journey into cancer care. Um, just a couple of quick housekeeping things before we get into several things that we're going to talk about today. We're not taking live Q and A today. However, you can submit questions to contact at reflection with an X, always with an X dot com, and we'll then respond to those questions uh, very very soon. But we can't be doing that today on today's live stream. So if you're watching this live stream, then you've heard the news. Syntex Biology Guided Radiotherapy is now FDA cleared. <laughs> Maybe a, a tad of excitement here in Hayward. Um, and um, you've probably also been aware that uh, the FDA has also granted Syntex breakthrough device designation, and this is specifically in cancers in the lung, because of its ability to automatically beam track tumors that are moving. And, you know, building on top of that, the RFDA clearance for cancer in the lung and bone specifically represents a huge number of incremental patients that are presently beyond the reach of radiation therapy. As I think most of us appreciate, lung and bone are the number one and number two places that cancer spreads when it goes metastatic. So having a clearance for those indications, uh, whether it be for primary or again, advanced or late stage cancer is a tremendous opportunity for the company representing about 70% of those with metastatic or advanced disease, which is over 400,000 patients in the United States every single year. So Sam, when I think about this, um, from my perspective, I have my own feelings about it. I can't imagine how you feel having been at this for so long. What, what does today make you think of in terms of the journey? Well, today is obviously a very special day. Um, a lot of emotions going through, through me, I'm sure all of us. Um, but I remember the early days of reflection and when it was just my co-founder Akshay and I, you know, knocking on people's doors, trying to convince them to take a bet on this new technology, this new idea. Um, one of those people was uh, who ended up being an early seed investor in the company, actually the person who introduced us, uh, Todd. Um, I remember sitting down with Akshay and I, before he wrote us a check, he said, so Sam, Akshay, you know, in this space, it takes 10 years to make anything really happen. And Akshay and I, of course, wanted that money. And we, of course, nodded our heads. Yes, we do know that. Um, and of course, thinking in our minds, no, we're, you know, two 30 something brash entrepreneurs. We can make something happen in less time than that. So it turns out he was wrong. It took 15 years to make <laughs> yeah, uh, something happen like this. But really to, you know, I want to thank those early visionaries, um, whether they're investors, um, clinicians and others, you know who you are uh, if you're watching this stream, uh, that because that put the wheels in motion to be able to achieve a milestone like today. Um, but, you know, to really answer your question, you know, what I feel, what's going through me today, it's, uh, it's a lot of things, but probably the biggest thing, 
you know, in addition to the immense pride I feel walking into any one of our buildings in, in our campus here is being inspired. Like I'm actually inspired by this group behind me and, totally the, uh, and the people that are not in the building right now of what we've been able to accomplish together. Right. It kind of makes you feel like something as seemingly impossible as making a tumor self-direct its own treatment. Right. That that's just yeah, that's that's in the realm of science fiction. It makes you feel like science fiction is really just the sandbox for new technology and that humanity is capable of anything. Um, this really is the dawn, in my opinion, of a new modality in cancer care for patients with any stage of cancer, but particularly stage four. Uh, but at the same time, Todd, my experience is rather limited. Reflection was my first is my first and only job. So I have a certain myopia you might say. I'm just curious from your perspective as someone who's dedicated their entire career to cancer care, you know, what is the significance of today? Um, th thanks, Sam. I mean, first of all, I don't think anybody would ever accuse you of being myopic, uh, first okay. of all, but, um, um, and, and I do want to answer your question, but again, I want to just also recognize the, the team behind us. And, you know, you had an amazing innovation 15 years ago. Um, how can you take signals that are coming out of a tumor and send a beam of thera therapeutic radiation right back at it. In fact, that's where the name reflection comes from. Um, but you know, the people behind us and everyone that has been a part of this journey every step of the way had to then go on and solve dozens of electromechanical and software miracles to make all of that work. It's one thing to detect those signals very, very quickly, thousands per second. It's an entirely different thing to make a machine that can react fast enough to actually do something therapeutically meaningful with that. And that's exactly what this team has done. That's exactly what our clinical partners will now be enabled to do clinically going forward. Um, and it's just amazing. So thank you everyone again. Um, what, when I think, when I think about what's next, you know, and, and what, kind of lies ahead. I, for me, it, it, and it's been part of our story, I think, for, for the last several years in particular, cancer care is changing. And, and, you know, I think for sure, all of us believe and the entire field believes, and we're learning from the field, that the way cancer will be treated for the next 20 years is probably going to be very different than how it's been treated for the last 20, 40, 60 years. And, and it's just so exciting to be able to imagine and dream with our clinical visionary partners, what they will do with this technology. And I think when I think of what's next, what what's next is listening to our early partners and, and to see where they will take this and what they will do, not just for early stage cancer, where we always will appreciate that there are always improvements to be made, but reaching out to that next cohort of patients that are presently beyond the reach of everyday radiation therapy, to, despite the fact that it has incredible efficacy, despite the fact that it's cost effective, readily available, it, there, you know, it's, it's being held back and the opportunity to reach those with late stage or advanced cancer is something so exciting. And this cancer, this company is, is desperate, willing and eager to learn from our early adopters and early partners about what that means and what the future holds for patients all around the world. And we're just super excited to see it. And speaking of what's next, uh, we're very excited to ramp up our clinical program, continue ramping it up. Um, as, as Todd mentioned, we're indicated to treat tumors now in the lung and bone. Uh, with FTG, that's our first radio, radio tracer we, we are in the market with, um, but we're already investing to build beyond that with our clinical partners to provide evidence to go beyond those uh, indications and not just with FTG, but other exciting new radio tracers as well that will unlock new options for new groups of patients. That's right. And I think, you know, we've got some important tactical next steps along that journey, um, which is going to be important and take some time. Obviously, this is the beginning of that next phase for the company and all of our partners and the patients they will serve. Tactical next steps are releasing a, a, a version of Syntex that supports this. Um, it, it'll be not unlike the quarterly releases we make to all of our installed base um, all the time. And um, so we'll, we'll start rolling that out very, very soon. And then ensuring that they're trained and ready to go to start treating patients. And we will continue to work hard every single day to earn their trust and confidence for, throughout our entire install base and all the other centers that we'll be installing this year as well. So I want to thank, obviously, the entire team here at Reflection um, for being able to get us to this point. It's, it's been ama an amazing journey. We're also just at the beginning, as I'm sure everyone can appreciate. 
And I also want to thank, in particular, the people that aren't part of Reflection that have been critical to getting us to this point. And I'm talking specifically about our clinical partners, the clinical visionaries, the people that took our technology early, even before we had this amazing milestone happen on clearance, and really took a bet with us and helped us become clinical, helped us become to the first point where we could treat patients and, and build the evidence set necessary to be able to even get this approval. So thank you. You know who you are. I know you're watching. Really, really thank you so much. Couldn't, couldn't have said it um, better myself, Sam. I mean, we literally wouldn't be here without you. Thank you so much. We'll continue to work hard to earn your trust and confidence every single day. Thank you so much. On behalf of the entire team here in the San Francisco Bay Area, thank you for tuning in today. We really appreciate it. And we will indeed respond to those questions very, very soon. So thank you so much. Bye. See you soon. Bye.